Nikki Cameron. Welcome to the Flying 18s video. In this program, we're going to meet some of the teams that sail the 18-footers on Sydney Harbour. Our first team today is Rag and Famish Hotel, skipper Jack McCartney, who will introduce us to his crew. Hi, I'm Jack McCartney, uh, the skipper of the Rag and Famish skiff. This is Tom Clout, the sheet hand, and Drew Waller, the bowman. Uh, we're the new Rag and Famish team after John Harris, Scott Babbage and, and Pete Harris handed it over at the end of last season. And uh, we're ha proud and happy to be here. <laughs> I've sailed the skiffs for about five years previously um, with Mick Elaine on the Macquarie Real Estate and with Drew actually. We won the Australians in 2007 and had some good results. Um, I then headed overseas and had a little break. In the meantime Tommy here won the JJ's on the seven boat and Drew did a couple of years with Brett Van Munster, the uh, boat builder, um, and enjoyed a couple of seasons away from me. Um, but here we are, yep, we're back and very, very, going very well, got a fast boat and we're very happy to be the representatives of the RAG. The next team is Thurlow Fisher Collect. Mark Kennedy is the skipper. Hi, I'm Mark Kennedy, skipper of Thurlow Fisher Collect. Uh, this is Ryan Houston, my main sheet guy, and Thomas Anderson, my bowman. Uh, so basically we've got a little diverse team here, uh, Ryan and I are from New Zealand, uh, grew up and the dinghy scene there, racing uh, Optimus, P-Class, um, Starlings, which the Australians probably don't know about, um, into the 29er, um, 420s, and then into the 49er and Olympic classes as well. Ryan's gone down um, a bit more of the match racing route and then into the Volvo Ocean Race, around the world sailing. And uh, old Tommy here, he's, uh, he's the man from Sydney. Um, the Whisperer. The Whisperer, as we call him. <laughs> Uh, done lots of dinghy sailing in the past. What have you exactly sailed? Um, basically just dinghy sailing, flying 11s, 29ers, 49ers. That's about it. And then straight into the skiffs when I was 15, so into the 18s. So it. together we like to have a lot of fun. Not there to win this year, but um, out there to have a good time. All right, one more thing we'd like to add. Um, Mr. Michael Coxon, our fellow stableman for Thurlow Fisher. <laughs> Um, he's just moved from the north side down to the east side and um, has been known to cause a bit of trouble with the local east siders here. He's also then, put us down in the last interview. Yeah, he's, he's calling us the whispering team, but really, old Cocker here is the whisperer himself. Um, been known to throw us out of a few little uh, bars of late and um, trying to kind of uh, beat the opposition in that kind of way. But at the end of the day, old Coco, how old are you? 29, we say? 29, 25, 30. 25. <laughs> 22. Oh, I think he's actually 35. <laughs> now Marcus Ashley Jones will tell us about his ASCO Appliances team. Hi there, my name is Marcus and we have here the, uh, the ASCO 18 foot skiff sailing team. Um, this is our first season together, isn't it? Yeah. Sure is. Absolutely, yep, yeah, first season. Uh, we've got the, the new red ASCO boat out there. Um, and the team is myself on the steering and then, Stuart, you do the bow, don't you? Yeah. Yep, yeah. yep. And, uh, and Aaron here does the main. So we've had a pretty good lead up for the Gilton. A um, couple of handicap wins, I think, there early in the season. And uh, we're looking forward to doing some training and uh, getting out there for the JJ Giltons in early March. So before the JJ's, uh, and um, so you know, Aaron is fantastic on the main. He's probably one of the best main sheet hands out there, uh, one of the tallest, I think for sure. He also um, does a lot of DJing. He's got a a, a, a DJ name. What is it? Uh, DJ <laughs> DJ Tall Timber. He does uh, manly Sunday nights. Does a great job down there, and uh, he's also got a little bit of bleached hair. Just show for the camera. <laughs> Just show. <laughs> so he does that. Uh, it's fantastic look out there. And uh, Captain Wellsy, another great Tasmanian man. Uh, what do you do during the week, Wellsy? Uh, naval architect. Naval by architect. Trade. By trade. So he's uh, designing some new things for the 18s, which is uh, we hope to unveil during the Gilton. And um, Aaron's a pilot for Qantas, so um, you know if it's going to be windy, we'll be needing his uh, flying skills, hopefully. And uh, to lift drag ratio and um, combat uh, Jonathan Whitty with the turbulator. You know, that, that technology he's come out with is just fantastic. So, um, you know, we're, we're looking forward to uh, hopefully learning a little bit off, off him and what he's brought to the class and, um, and see if we can't uh, turn these boats into something a little bit faster than what they are now. 
Our final team in this program is one of the youngest, Kenwood Rabbitohs. Evan Walker is their skipper. Hi, I'm Evan Walker and I'm the skipper of Kenwood Rabbitohs 18 foot skiff. Uh, sailing on bow with me is Ted Hackney and on main sheet is Jeremy Roberts. Uh, this is the third season that I've steered an 18 with Ted on bow and Jeremy's joined us this year off Boatmate last season, sailing with Jason Waterhouse. Um, prior to sailing 18s, I sailed a few seasons in 29ers and Hobie 16. Um, had a crack at a tornado for a couple of regattas, but uh, didn't work out. Um, as well as sailing the 18, I sail a lot of match racing. And um, that's where I know Ted from. He's crewed with me in quite a few events. And together we've won uh, one or two Hardy Cups. I've won one. Won one, and I've won two. Um, we've won a couple of Australian Championships, Australian Match Racing Championships, and Australian Youth Match Racing Championships. Um, I've been competitive in a couple of other kind of highly ranked youth match racing regattas. Uh, we're, we're quite a young team in the fleet and we're working pretty hard to just try and get up and be consistent and have a few results in the top half of the fleet. The last weekend we had a good result sailing on what's the newly branded Kenwood boat. Um, it was Gill last season and we had a good race and got off the line well and finished with a third. So going ahead.